Everyone told you you need a database to manage tasks. That's a lie. Follow along and we'll create a simple task management system in Notion for normal people. We use the short keys, the double brackets to create a to-do list, and we start adding items. So buy milk, buy butter, and leave kids at school. We can check them off simply and we're done. Or wait, are we? Come on, we can do better than this, right? So let's uh, clean this up a little bit and make it a little bit more usable. So we start with creating a three column layout and we use some headings to structure the content. So we create the today, tomorrow, and later columns. So things to do today, things to do tomorrow, and things that can wait for later. We move all the items into the today column, and then we can easily drag them around. So something that didn't get done today, we can move to tomorrow. And when we're done for the day, we can move all of tomorrow's items to, to today. So it's ready for the next day. Let's add some items to tomorrow as well. So a main thing for tomorrow, something we're really looking to then is to stop procrastinating, right? And actually do some work. And uh, for later, sometime maybe later this week or even later than that, I think it's a good time to plan a vacation. Maybe to Bali. I heard that's a nice place to go. Using this structure, we can easily cross things off. As you saw before, we can move them around. But a problem that happens here is as we start completing items and creating new ones, we will get a really long list. Let's go into the uh, settings in uh, the page and set it to full width so we have some more space. Then we create a fourth column and we'll call this archive. We'll use a toggle list here, meaning that we can collapse the archive whenever we want to and we can show it whenever we want to. We can move things to the uh, archive section and uh, to keep things consistent, I prefer to have it as a fourth column. So we drag it to the right of everything else and create a new column. The completed tasks, once we don't want to see them anymore in the today column, we move them to archive, simple. Then you might ask, what happens with the archive column? Won't that be very, very long? Of course it will. So a secondary strategy we can use here that uh, to me works even better is to create a separate archive subpage. So as you can see now, we have an archive page and we can actually drag and drop things from the to-do list to the archive page. We uh, move the archive page inside the uh, fourth column. We create a heading, we call it archive and uh, move it to the top so it uh, matches the layout of everything else. And now we actually have a really well-functioning, simple to-do or task management system in Notion. So let's go into the archive and uh, look how that looks. So as you can see, when we move things to the archive, we uh, find it to the bottom of the page exactly as expected. And then from time to time, you can go into the archive. You can uh, delete things as needed, or uh, if you want, you can keep things forever to have a long, long record of everything you've achieved. We'll finish the whole thing off with fixing up the design, adding a few colors and make it a little bit more inviting. We can also add some uh, icons or emojis to uh, to match. All right, so let's add some colors to the heading as well. Let's add a cover image. We use the Unsplash images integrated to uh, Notion. We search for Note and, and we find a nice yellow background that really livens. And we're done, right? I think we have a great simple task manager. We created a few columns. We used the built-in to-do list in Notion. We can drag things around and we can really take control of our to-do list right inside Notion without any complicated databases and without uh, any fuss. When the day is over, we can move all of tomorrow's items to today and we can create new items that we want to do tomorrow or later. And for tomorrow, We'll look into how to create a database-based management system in Notion. If you want some more power, join us again tomorrow and uh, we'll look into the database-based task management system in Notion. That's all for today. Thank you for listening and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you tomorrow.